Good morning, friends. This morning, we have assembled here to celebrate our nation's victory over an invisible enemy, the dreaded polio virus, which was crippling our innocent children for a long time. Believe me, today is a red letter day in the history of Rotary in India. On January 13, 2014, India completed three years without reporting a single new case of polio. As you all know, Ruksa, that innocent girl from Howrah, West Bengal, was diagnosed with polio on 13th of January 2011, and that is the last case. Some people call it a historic day. After all, polio has been consigned to the history books in this region. To us in Rotary, it is a day of awakening to the realization of a dream. Respected Rashtrapati ji, we are truly honored by your presence. I recall when in 1992, I returned to my homeland after completing my term as president of Rotary International I met you, and at that time, you showed keen interest in what Rotary was doing with particular reference to polio eradication program. I and Rotary are therefore particularly elated that, that now, when, we are, when you are heading the country, the success has been achieved. I remember the beginning of Rotary's polio journey and I'm sure many of you too. 30 years ago, we launched the first Polio Plus campaign. Back then, we could not have imaged the highs and lows of this journey. We could have not have imaged how this cause would bring Rotarians closer together, and we could not have imaged how polio eradication would define our organization and our legacy. There is a quote I want to share by the Chinese philosopher Confucius. The man who moves mountains begins by carrying away small stones. Rotary begins carrying away small stones with our first fundraising campaign in 1985. We pledged to raise $120 million for polio eradication. Instead, we raised more than double that among 247 million US dollars. Then we kept going. With each campaign, we carried away more stones, one child at a time, one country at a time, one region at a time. Today, Rotarians have contributed more than one billion dollars to eradicate polio. I would like to once again thank our partners, Rotary International, World Health Organization, UNSF, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, USAID, CDC, and several others who provided valuable technical and pro programmatic support. I also acknowledge the hundreds and thousands of our frontline workers, supervisors, vaccinators, volunteers, parents, and children, as well as senior officers of the ministry who braved most difficult terrains and circumstances to give two drops of polio to each and every child across the country. Ladies and gentlemen, Rotary would like to recognize the contribution of the Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Sri Ghulam Nabi Azad, and the former Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Sri Ambumani Ramdas, to the anti-polio campaign. We request the Honorable President, Sri Pranab Mukherjee, to do the honors. Dr. Ramdas. Dr. 
श्री गुलाम नबी आजाद it's indeed a privilege for me to be amidst you this afternoon in celebrating india's polio free status the official recognition by the international certification committee that india has effectively immunized its population against polio that there has not been a single case of polio defected in india in the last 3 years is a momentous occasion indeed for a country that was till only recently among the worst affected by the virus this is a landmark achievement 